Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Philip Nafziger. What you're about to see is a condensed version of a full length series available at buildingexpertsinstitute.com. Thanks a lot to Bluebird Roofing for helping make this video possible. Enjoy. The two things that we're gonna need to get started is the measurement of the back of the chimney. On this one, we have 49 inches. And the second thing we're gonna need is the pitch of the roof. I know that this is an 812 pitch. Those are the two things we need. The measurement of the back of the chimney where the cricket's gonna go, and then the pitch of the roof that it's going on. Our two things we had to remember was that 49 inches is the back of the chimney, that's our measurement, and then the pitch of the roof is 812. We're gonna break that information down a little bit further our measurement we're going to build our cricket framing at is actually 47 inches. We're going to subtract one inch from each side of the chimney to accommodate for our OSB. So our framing is going to be 47 and then we need to find our pitch factor for our 812. Divide 12 by 8 to get our pitch factor which is 1.5. I'm going to lay this out on this board you should be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Our total length of the Cricut is going to be 47 inches, which is right here to this mark. And we need a center point. So let's divide that in half, which is 23 and a half. And I'll put that up here. make a center line there. We know that this is 23 and a half. What we need to do is divide that number by our pitch factor to determine how tall this will be. It's an 812 roof, so every 12 inches down here, we have eight inches of rise. 23 and a half divided by 1.5 is 15.66. That's gonna be the height. Let's go ahead and measure that. 15.66 is right there. That's our center point for the top. We can connect the dots to get our angles now. We want to have a ridge pull running down the center right here, and our side boards are gonna tie into the ridge pull. We're just gonna make it out of, out of a two by four. It's gonna be just like this. We're gonna put that in the center of our line and touch it to the edges. This is the actual size of the Cricut. We can take our tape measure and measure how long our boards are gonna be. And on this one, we're gonna go with 27 and a quarter. We've got actual measurement of 27 and a quarter on this and 27 and a quarter over here. Now all I need to do is figure out the length of my ridge pull. So imagine in 3D that this ridge pull is going straight back because this is the back of the chimney. So I'm gonna invert this right here and create a backwards triangle, which is gonna be the slope of the roof headed backwards. When I do that, I'll make a I'll make a line right here to help you visualize. This triangle, I need to 
figure out what this measurement is right here. I know that this measurement was 15.66 to the top. It's gonna be a new measurement now that I stuck that two by four on there. So go ahead and measure that. And that's gonna be 15 and a quarter rather than 15.66. Since this is the short side, I'm gonna multiply 15 and a quarter by my pitch factor to get the length of my ridge pull. 15 and a quarter multiplied by 1.5 equals 22.875. That is gonna be the length of our ridge pull. I'll go ahead and actually measure that out. 22.875 right here. The final thing that I need to show you is how to use the square to cut our angles on our boards. Put your square on a straight edge like this and take it to whatever pitch your roof is. This is an 812 pitch. Right here it says common. These are your different pitches. So here I've got it right lined up with the eight. And if I transfer that through to the bottom, this shows what the 812 pitch is in degrees, which is 33 and one half. If I go ahead and mark that right there, then turn my square to a 90, this is gonna be 33 and a half degrees, which is an 812 pitch. Our full degrees is 90. So I need to subtract 90 from 33 and a half to get the other side. The opposite angle of an 812 pitch is gonna be 56 and a half degrees. Those are the two degrees we need to make all these angles for the cricket. We've got three boards we need to make. We've got the measurements for them, so let's go ahead and cut them. This is the completed Cricut. All we got to do is drop that behind the chimney and put some plywood on it. Let me show you how this fits on our board that we drew it out on. It is essentially lining up perfectly with our lines right there. That's exactly how we built it, so there you go. Now, to invert this board, this is a, a replica of my ridge pull, which is to the edge of this mark and to our center line. So that's our ridge pull. Let me explain some of these angles. Point to point, the longest point to point, right here to here is 27 and a quarter. This is 27 and a quarter from point to point. This angle is 33 and a half. That's our 812 pitch, 33 and a half. This angle is 56 and a half. That's our opposite angle, 56 and a half. When you make this cut, draw your line at 56 and a half, and then bevel your saw at 33 and a half, which is our 812 angle. That creates that bevel, which is gonna go behind the chimney on both sides. Explain it one more time. This is our 812 pitch. That's gonna be 33 and a half or 812. Measure 27 and a quarter. Mark it at 56 and a half degrees. That's our opposite angle. And then cut that line at 33 and a half on your bevel. The ridge pull is 22.875 inches long. And this is the opposite 56 and a half degrees cut straight. And of course, we're straight there. That is how you build a cricket. 
with all the angles. Thanks for watching. Remember, this was a condensed version of a full length video available at Building Experts Institute. Link in the description below. I've got some more videos for you here to watch. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. It helps me make more content like this. Thanks.